Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing another daily challenge from Bloon Star Defense 5. And as you can see, we are starting off with a cannon at 3 and 1, I believe. And then a dartling gunner. Um, I tried this with the... Uh, what are they? Snipers as well. That works too. Um, you lose a few more lives. I believe I lost four more lives. I set all of them to strong. You might want to try switching that up a little bit if you want to have a perfect playthrough. Anyway, um, you can try some different things, but um, if you're not going for the, play the perfect one, then this is a very good strategy because I will end up at 82 lives. And as you can see, yeah, you only need to worry about that one wave, wave uh, 33. So that's the third wave in, and then um, you have to wave. Uh, uh, worry about wave uh, 69. Uh, I believe it's 69. It might also be one of the little bit higher waves, but it's a uh, it's a wave with full camo, or well, not full, but a lot of camo, and um, it may also be 72. I I assumed here it was 69, but I didn't see it at all. I do know that I lost the first try to it, so this is my second try. Um, I did add the mortar here because I didn't assume I needed it. You do need it, so buy it early and upgrade it to full when you have the chance. And um, you will never have the chance automatically because it costs um, something like seven thousand, seven thousand more than. Or seven seven thousand high, maybe even. Uh, no, it's it's really expensive. No, it's it's actually nine thousand, I believe, nine thousand something. Anyway, we'll see it. Any, we'll see it when I upgrade it. But it's a ridiculously high price to pay. It's way more expensive than a super monkey. But you do need it for that one wave, and I forgot which wave it is because I suck at this game. No, I uh, I just don't really care. I uh, never play the higher levels unless it's hard, uh, so the hard mode, and then I have so much stuff that um, yeah, I don't really care. But yeah, for this one, I do care because um, yeah, in this case, I don't have a lot of stuff, and really, yeah, you have to deal with whatever comes your way in different ways than normal. And different ways than would be uh, perfect. So um, yeah, we're going to build uh, the first planet full of uh, of cannons. Well, not completely full, but we're going to build something like five cannons, and they're all supposed to be like this. So that is three and one, and I will build one three and two. But that was not because I intended to. That was because I suck at this game. That's this one. Yeah, I actually uh, upgraded it one too far. It doesn't matter, but it costs you uh, money that you don't need to spend. You, it, it's not useful, that upgrade. It's useful when you're trying to hit things at max range, uh, especially the fast balloons. But in this case, everything comes flying straight towards it <laughs> and runs straight past it. So, yeah, it's it's not the greatest. Anyhow, uh, second super monkey, it's going to be upgraded to 3 and 2. Uh, the other super monkey is 3 and 0 for now. It's going to be 3 and 2 eventually as well. I have one frost tower. I don't think that actually does anything. But yeah, well, I threw it in there just to try it out. And that's what I do. The early, the early t times I uh, try it, uh, or so I do the daily challenges. I uh, generally just, and there you can see how expensive it was, I forgot to look, but anyway, it's really expensive, and uh, it's this wave, so that's wave 70, oh yeah, actually, it, oh, I forgot, it actually has an active, so this, um, yeah, you don't need it, but the mortar actually has an active, that will freeze all the balloons on the screen and hit them, and blah blah, um, it's relatively useful but it's mainly there for well just the stopping power no the uh, camo detection power and it's that one wave that you should be worried about so that's either 69 or 70 
I don't care. Anyway, we win the daily challenge, and that's it. Hope to see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed.